It's the third week in September and time for me to harvest my winter squash. So I've heard it's going to rain later today, so I'm just sipping out now. I'm going to harvest the squash and give you a few tips along the way when you're thinking about harvesting yours. Welcome to Brown Frugal and if we've not met before I'm Susan and on this channel we're all about learning how to grow our own food, how to cook creatively and healthily and how to find little ways of living a lower cost life. And if you've seen my videos before you'll know I tend to choose crops that will store in some way over winter and my absolute favourite for storage and the ones I've had most success with are winter squash. So I love growing these winter squash. They're different to pumpkins and if you treat them well they will store all the way through winter so they're a fantastic crop to grow and I've still actually got a crown prince squash from last year so I've been waiting to see how long it would store so although it's showing signs now that I really need to get it cooked up and I'll be doing that in a recipe very soon it is stored in our loft for a year and that's not perfect conditions because over the summer the loft gets incredibly hot so if possible you want to store your squash in cool conditions, cool and dark, just like most vegetables, um, but it just shows you what you can do. So even if you've got some space somewhere in the house that's as temperate as possible and you can keep an eye on them, it's worth seeing how long they can last in your conditions. So the first tip for winter squash is that if you're hoping to store them for a long time, it's best to leave them on the plant until just before first frost. So do a bit of research about when for your area your first frost is due and make sure you harvest before then. So by leaving them out even though they're ostensibly done we're allowing them to get to the point where they will store much better. So as tempting as it is to kind of get down especially these little uchikikuri squash to get them early I'm experimenting and seeing what these are like for storing this year. I haven't got loads so I'm wanting to find out if they are good storers so that next time when I grow them I'll try not to cut off one of the tendrils that was the fruit in tendril by accident. So as tempting as it is to take the squash in and they look very ripe and really lovely colour, if you want to store them, leave them into autumn, into the fall, um, but also keep an eye out for warnings of frost and you must get them indoors before then. So for me this is the third week in September and this is a good time I found for me to be harvesting squash so that's what I'm doing today. And the second tip about harvesting winter squash is to definitely not cut the stalks. So you'll know when your squash are ready to harvest by the fact that the stalks get very dried up and gnarly and cracked. That's the sign that they are ready. But unless you are eating absolutely straight away, do not cut the stalk. So it already looks a bit woody and like it would be quite difficult to cut. So that's a handy hint to kind of remember. So what we actually do is cut either side of the shoots going into the squash and leave those on while we cure the squash before we put them away into storage. So be very careful when you're cutting and the reason we're doing that is to keep the disease out of the squash itself. So leave those bits of stalk on and you've got every chance then that as you cure your squash that they won't get disease and they'll be nice and ready for long term storage. And then the third tip I've got for you is that once you've harvested the squash we want them to be in the sun and in a dry place so that the skins can cure. So that's just ensuring that the skins have got nice and hard before you put them into long-term storage. So I don't have a greenhouse but if you have a greenhouse you could put them in there. For me I just put them on a windowsill in a sunny room and leave them there for a week or two. For the big ones like the Crown Prince I will turn them slightly to get them exposed to the sun and maybe tip them so that all sides of it are getting a chance to ripen up. That was a wasp, that was a lucky escape, it flew off. Um, so harvest on a nice dry day and then get them into a dry, warm and light and sunny place if you can and leave them for a couple of weeks and as you press very gently with your nail on the skin you'll notice that they're really hardening up and then you can just get them and put them into a dark and cool place if you've got it, ready for eating whenever you want them in the next 
few months. And my final tip is never carry your squash by the stalk because it's very likely to snap off. They may seem really sturdy, but if you get them bruised, it's going to ruin it for storing. So bring them in carefully, hold them like the precious things they are, and enjoy your lovely winter squash. And that's it, that's what I've learned harvesting squash. But if you've got more tips and you're more experienced than me, please do share them below because it's brilliant to learn new stuff from each other. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get these indoors and start curing them and they'll be ready to make into some lovely recipes in the months to come. So good luck with yours, let me know how you get on and I'll see you next time.